Have you had a female narcissist in your life? A mother, a friend, a partner, a sister? Let's talk about the female narcissist. My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand and heal from toxic relationships and transform your life after narcissists have been in it. Okay, the female narcissist. Let's just start with the mother. Let me know what you think in the comments if you have dealt with a narcissistic person and what their role was and how that looked to you. Oh, the narcissistic mother. The controlling, lack of empathy woman that has children. Probably one of the most hurtful and damaging narcissists is a narcissistic parent. And a narcissistic mother may be more so because what do we expect from a mother? The number one thing children receive from healthy mothers is nurturing. Nurturing from the heart. Nurturing from a place of the child's well-being before their own. This does not exist if you have a narcissistic mother. However, she will certainly tell you that it does. So it gets really confusing. Children need the stability and the goodness that comes from a nurturing, caring, giving mother. So the most damaging thing is that you don't have that when you've had a toxic narcissistic mom. Love is conditional. And what mother loves conditionally? Well, a narcissistic one, that's who. It's a transactional love based on achievements that you might have, behaviors that you might do, or what you give to her. A narcissistic mother will use words to make it sound like she's doing things for her children's well-being when in fact, if you look at it, it's all about her. A narcissistic mother won't validate you, not really. They can be belittling even in their compliments. Oftentimes, a narcissistic mother has such a need for you to need her, for her to be the one that fixes life so that she has a role of importance to other people. In other words, the way she looks is like the mother who cares the most, the one who's out there taking care of her children and everybody else is lesser than her. So she's using that as a way to wear a mask and claim some authority over you and your life. And the manipulation there can be so subtle and so sneaky. A lot of narcissistic mothers are simply hot and cold, mean and nice, and very difficult to predict what is going to happen and when they are going to turn on you. Narcissistic mothers do not let their children individuate in a healthy way. They maintain control. And as I said, they need you to need them. They need you to be in need of them. They can create problems in your life by pointing out what's wrong with you, by making it you feel through their words like you're not worth anything, like you can't do anything, like you're incapable. And then they can solve the problem for you, making you dependent and reliant upon them. They're doing this to maintain their power and their control over you so that they have a continual source of supply for the rest of your life. And in all of this, they take away you having a point of view, you having a perspective, you being an individual human being separate from them. Narcissistic mothers, as all narcissists tend to be, they're attention seeking. They wanna be the center of attention. But when you have a mother doing this, it means that no one else in the family can have any glory, any attention, any focus. They will try to control all the outside things in your life, including your friends, your jobs, what you do for fun, where you go, what you eat, whether or not you're too skinny, too fat, whether or not you exercise and what kind of exercise you do. Do I need to go on? Probably not. So another narcissistic female would be the narcissistic partner. Have you had one of those? You guys, if you've had any narcissistic female in your life, hit the thumbs up. So a narcissistic partner, who is a female, oftentimes plays the victim. They oftentimes will point the finger at you as the toxic narcissistic one. They very often will learn about psychology and learn all the words to manipulate the situation so that you start questioning yourself. That's the form of gaslighting they often take, one that manipulates you from who you are as a person based on how you behave around them and within the relationship. They can be incredibly jealous, of you, not so much what you do. Sometimes they're jealous of what you do and who you're with and all of that, but they're mostly jealous of you. If you get attention, if people like you, if you have friends that they don't have, whatever it is, they're jealous of that. They can be overly aggressive. 
And then you've got to be so careful because they can make it look like you're the aggressive one. Narcissistic female partners are cunning and manipulative, just like most narcissists. But the thing is, especially if you are a male survivor with a female narcissist, they have a way of making other people believe them and that you're the problem. I talk to so many men who are so confused about how this woman in their life could have done this to them and why they are that way. And they feel like it must be something they did. Okay, we all get that feeling, but there is something, there is some deep remorse that I hear in these male survivors' voices about some unknown thing and some unknown way that must be inherently wrong with them. This has been drilled into their head by this narcissistic partner so well that the men who I've talked to have lost their sense of self of who they are when in relationship with other people. So what's a female narcissistic friend like? Oh, so jealous of any friends you have, of you having friendships outside of your friendship with her, triangulating, pulling in other friends and other people to pit against you or to always have on the back burner so that they can make you feel jealous tell secrets to one person against you, tell one person bad things against you, tell you bad things about the other person so that there's this triangulated hostility going on. They're unreasonable in their expectations of you because again, the world revolves around them. They love to guilt trip and to blame. They are super controlling and super draining. You might be going somewhere with them and you think you're out having fun with your friend. And suddenly you realize that that narcissistic friend is pulling the attention of everyone else out in public and getting everyone to pay attention to her and ignore you. Like say you go to a club or out to dinner, to a bar or whatever with a narcissistic female friend and say you're also a female and you're hanging out and you're talking and you're there to talk to her and maybe people come and talk to you and maybe they don't, whatever. They will be pulling the attention from people all around the room so that people come over. And when people come over, they'll throw themselves between you and the other person so that you get no attention and you get to sit and watch them get all the attention from everyone in the room. Or they will push the attention onto you so that they can then slip in and take it away from you. Does that make sense? Narcissistic females do not make good friends. And when you have a narcissistic female that you work with, a coworker or a boss, you may see the mean girl thing going on where they will literally bully you or they'll bully someone. And you may be trying to stay off her radar and she may be coming in and trying to get into your life, get to know you, befriend you, but watch out because that means she's paying attention to you and you're next on the long list of people that she bullies. They may take credit for the work you do. Narcissistic people generally lack boundaries and in the workplace with a narcissistic female, that can look like friendship or interest, but what they do is they use that information that they get to push through your boundaries. They'll be incredibly jealous of your successes and need to take credit for them. Or, try to break them down so that they don't actually happen. They cannot take criticism. And you know, in the workplace, sometimes it, there is a need for constructive criticism or for critique or for understanding how to make things better. Well, if you have a narcissist on the receiving end of that, you're going to pay the price if you say anything that makes her look other than perfect. So this is a, just a sum up of narcissistic females in different roles they may play in life. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.